We're live. What's going on? What's up? All right, guys. Everyone? So we are back for more of the four at four, and we're gonna give uh, just a minute for everybody to pop on and uh, and join us. So uh, for those that we haven't had a chance to meet, um, I'm Michelle. This is Adam. Ha -ha. Just kidding. I'm Adam. This is Michelle. Um, we are uh, from Adam and Michelle Carey .com, and we are. Uh, Network marketing professionals, bloggers, trainers, um, and uh, authors. And uh, right now, the the whole theme for this month is all on intentional personal growth and development. And as we hope you bring pen and paper to the video, whether you're here for the live or for the replay, and there's a link above uh, titled Multiply with Maxwell. And this is all leading up to an event that's going to be on September the 30th for a, a live stream training with John Maxwell. And uh, it's going to be epic. We're excited that we get to be contributors. We're flying yeah. out to Atlanta at the end of the month. And we're going to be out there for, I think, four or five days. Yeah. And we're going to get to meet some incredible leaders. So, hey, guys, welcome. Welcome, Yolanda, Carlotta, Shannon, Angie. Howdy. Hey, if you Howdy. would, uh, if you would, if you're not driving, could you let us know where you're... Uh, I would say calling in from, but where you're watching from or where you're uh, yeah. tuning in from. What city, state... Or country. How about um, what your favorite season is? Season? Like fall, yeah. spring? Yeah, because I am super excited. I like the reaping season. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited that fall is upon us here in California because it has been a hot summer. Yeah. And uh, fall means um, pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin spice latte, <laughs> whatever that is. So, welcome, that sounds, Ness. That sounds like six bucks to me. That's what that sounds <laughs> yeah. like. So um, anyway, just uh, for a lot of you guys that are jumping on, we got our diehards, Houston, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm not sure what city yes is. No, I'm just kidding. But we are uh, we are covering this book. It's backwards for those of you that are watching it because our camera is on selfie mode. But John Maxwell's uh, best-selling book, The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. Oh my gosh, it's worth every penny. I think we paid 26 bucks back in 2012, and this thing is is gold. And Should today. We tell them what, um law we're going to be training on in the simulcast or should we wait um it's up to you tell them you'd yeah. want to. if you guys want to know do you guys want to know what law <laughs> we're training on at the simulcast i got one thumbs up tons of sugar in those lattes i've got oh, a no. i've got a sugar story <laughs> to tell you today so some uh, people like fall some people like um, christmas season alabama in the house forney texas in the house yeah and uh all four so much, all four seasons. Okay, right. so um, I guess nobody wants to know what law we're training on. So Shannon we'll move on. Wants Shannon wants to know. Yeah. Um, so we have the law of the ladder. We're we're teaching on uh, law of the hangry. That's when you're super hungry and you're angry, and so that's a law you don't want to mess with. The law of the hangry. No, we're teaching law of the ladder, which we're really excited about because it's all about character. Yeah. And uh, so we'll get to that in a couple days, but today. We're talking about the law of consistency, number five. So let's let's jump in. Let's not waste any more time. Law of consistency. Motivation gets you going. Discipline keeps you growing. Can I make a confession? Please. Um, I needed motivation to get into reading this morning. Yeah. And I just, you know, in the beginning of reading Law of Consistency, I'm like, ah, it's probably going to be boring, you know. And so I just despite of how I felt, started to dive in and I actually really enjoyed it. What so was your why? It's kind of um, ironic that the law of consistency, you know, um, mm. it, and I wasn't feeling like being consistent. Yeah. And I was like, man, I just feel like doing something else right now. But um, so, yeah, discipline keeps you growing. Well, think about this. So there's 15 laws and we're doing 15 chapters, 15 Facebook lives. So today marks one third of our of our personal growth journey with this interactive Facebook group. So it'd be interesting. I think we've had 120, maybe 115 people raise their hand to say, I want to be in the private Facebook group, mm -hmm. which it, it will include the link here in the comments if you don't know about the Facebook group. But we did a private Facebook group for accountability because it's easier to grow as a group, to hear testimony stories. If you haven't listened to some of the videos of the testimonies yet, they're amazing. And please keep them coming. Um, keep Do a video every chapter if you want to. We love to hear them. But it's amazing. I'd be interested to know the 120 that raised their hand, let's just say the 120, were a third of, a third of the way in. 
how many people have already given up on reading the book? Said, you know, a chapter a day, I just can't do it. I, I just have to watch my news. I got to watch my TV show. I got to w- watch Friends, reruns yeah. of I Love Lucy, whatever it is. So the law of consistency, um, there's a reason they probably didn't put it on chapter one. You had to be consistent <laughs> yeah. enough to get to chapter yeah. five. So yeah. anyway, do you want to share some thoughts first or how do you want to, yeah, how do, you want I to think, do this? Um, just kind of going off of what you just said, one thing that really stood out to me is um, when John Maxwell wrote, you do, do not decide your future, your habits decide your future. Mm. And I thought that was really profound because it's like, okay, that's the difference between wishing and the hopefulness and the t- difference between people that take action. You know, you could want um, a future and um, write your goals down on paper, but it all boils down to the habits. And um, so it could, you know, I don't know if you've ever read Compound Effect, but it's those seemingly insignificant. They are significant, I think it's but I think. N- is that what he says? No, it's insignificant. Okay. I wrote it down. Okay. <laughs> and um, so they seem insignificant in the moment of choice, mm-hmm. but over the long term, um, not making those choices is what, is what derails you from um, reaching a certain goal. Mm-hmm. So I just thought that was really profound. Just like something as small as a habit could really determine your future, where you are five years from now, where you are 10 years from now. Yeah. And just looking back, um, kind of where like I came from before network marketing, before I've started to value myself, like it's kind of a scary thought to think about where I would be be now, like being like a 10 year journey. Mm. And um, so I'm just thankful that the law of consistency, um, you know, played out in my life. Yeah. Yeah. I think even for those of you watching, if you're reading and you're jumping on the actual live versus the replay, some of you can't make the live, that's okay. Mm-hmm. But those that are like interacting, you're probably getting more out of it just because of your involvement than if you were just to just read and not participate or not participate in the Facebook group. And so as you give more, you're going to also receive more. Yep. And we still have people in the game. Of course, everyone on here, you're in the game. You're Giving awesome. up Netflix. Linda, awesome. Lori. We're trying to get our daughter to go on a media fast from like cartoons and Peppa Pig and that would be amazing. I would she will love... one day. So here I want to share um, here, here's something on a personal I know this is a lot of us are network marketing most all of us but here's something that was uh, I think you guys will think is powerful so um, I love coffee Michelle and I love coffee and one of my vices was like I had to have coffee with the hazelnut coffee mate cream it couldn't be one of the other brands it had to be coffee mate it had to be hazelnut and I was um, about, how long are we, about a month, two months ago? Yeah. So we decided like we're, we're having way too much sugar in our diet and we're going to cut it off. And so we started buying half and half and it tasted terrible. And Michelle's like, you'll get used to it. And I'm drinking this. And it literally took like three weeks to get used to it. And I was wondering, I was thinking today before we got on here, I'm like, how much sugar have we actually cut out of our diet? You're going to, you're, you're, this is going to blow your mind. So in one tablespoon of hazelnut coffee mate creamer, there's five grams of sugar. Well, I easily put three tablespoons in every cup. And I would usually have two cups in the morning and I'd have a midday cup of coffee where I'd go and I'd <laughs> heat, up, heat up some that was left over. So easily three cups a day. So that's 45 grams of sugar a day. And that's 16,425 grams of sugar a year. So just by the consistency of eliminating the hazelnut coffee cream, which was like a love and a passion of mine, is now cutting out over 16,000 grams of sugar a year. Like that'll blow your mind. And that's just like one small step for man, one giant leap for (laughs) mankind, right? So I was just like, wow, it really starts to put in perspective how one small thing every day can compound. So how does that relate to your business? You know, what if I told you that if we sat down and I did an interview and I, and this wasn't commission only, it wasn't network marketing, but I said, Amy, Nancy, Lori, Shannon, I'm prepared to pay you six figures plus if you will make, uh, you got to make, do this task, this task, and this task. No, oh, by the way, by the end of the year, I need you to make 2,600 phone calls. Some of you might get intimidated by that, but if I gave you the guaranteed number that you were going to make you would probably push through. Well, what's interesting is 2,600 phone calls is only 10 phone calls a day, five days a week. Mm. 
five phone calls a day, five days a week is only 1,300 phone calls. Now, if I told you to make 1,300 phone calls, you'd probably freak out and say, I just can't <laughs> do it. But it's, again, doing that little bit every day over the course of time. As one of my mentors would say, you got to give it consistent, persistent effort over time. Overnight? No, over time. Mm -hmm. And so I thought you guys would get a lot out of those. Do you have any feedback there? Yeah, I mean, okay, let's just take the five phone calls a day, five days a week, which every single person could do. Um, you know, even if you're super busy, that's just really interesting because, you know, you think five, okay, well, maybe I'll skip five today and then I'll skip five the next day and the yeah. next day. See, what happens most of the time in network marketing is most of the time when someone quits, they we don't get an email or a phone call saying, mm -hmm. I quit. Mm -hmm. You know, what happens is people acquiesce out. Like they take one day and they don't do something yeah. and then the next day they don't do something and then the next day and then suddenly we're into weeks and then weeks turn into months and suddenly it's so hard to get back in and um you know the thing is like what we're all striving for in network marketing is momentum mm -hmm. and if you don't have consistency there's no way you could get enough momentum to push that ball up the hill and people will always model what the leader is doing so if you know the leader is not doing the consistent work then what is the odds of the team doing the consistent work too so it's just one of those things seemingly inconsequential at the time but over time it can either pay you huge dividends or you're completely derailed i want i just saw uh jess win it posting some little thumbs up i appreciate that and i want to just uh kind of give her a shout out because one of the things that michelle and i are very consistent about is we're consistently learning like we want to constantly get better we want to learn from people that have gone before us and just earlier today i was watching a six or eight minute video by jess winnett you could look her up she's probably put a comment down but she's a, she's a rock star and she teaches on video mm -hmm. and she gave some great tips today that that i kind of forgot about so like you know if you're getting value out of this live stream we're gonna ask you like share it with your community share it with your team just click share um, if you want to make sure you don't miss any of our content go to our fan page Adam and Michelle Carey and click like so you don't miss out on anything uh, we haven't mentioned one time on our on our Facebook live this this week and last week but we have so much great free value that if you go to our website Adam and Michelle Carey dot com we have like what five or six free gifts now like six. Some on leadership, some on uh, all kinds of different topics. But you can pick any of them or take one, take all of them. And you can simply subscribe. And um, and then we've also got some um, other products that are in the works. And so we just want to encourage you. Thanks, Jess, for those tips. Yeah. So make sure to, to, to share, subscribe, uh, you know, and, and go pick up some of the free value that you have. But I have a, I have a story that I want to share related to... Um, uh, how I was tying this in, but along the lines of consistency, is I was at a car rental, um, standing in line for a car rental in the Dallas Fort Worth airport. This was about a year to two years ago. And I was talking to the guy in front of me. I'm always prospecting, right? I'm always breaking the ice, talking to people. And the guy happened to be from the Northeast where we actually did a lot of business there. And he's from Pennsylvania. And I got real excited because he was from Pennsylvania. And he wasn't a real conversationalist. I think he was actually focused because he had just flown in to pitch uh, his business um, software or he, he was IT of some sort. And he was getting ready to do a presentation. And my personality is like, awesome man, hope you hit a home run and just really enthusiastic. And he kind of turned around real calm and you know, that's how IT people usually are, they're real calm and they have wisdom. And, <laughs> and, and he said, uh, he says, you don't win by home runs. He says, you win by hitting singles and doubles. And even though that was a 10 minute conversation at the car rental, that still stuck with me because I'm like, wow. Good. Maybe how, he's watching. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> he, maybe he is watching. But how often do we, I know my personality is I want to hit a home run mm -hmm. every time. But really, the, the championships are won by singles and doubles, layups and free throws, blocking okay. and tackling, like the fundamentals, the DMO, the, the daily method of operation. You know, we teach our team to do th I mean if you're busy you got life you got family you got this and that you can at least do three to five invites every day at least three to five invites you do five a day five days a week that's 1300 invitations to your business which most of us on here if we were honest are not doing that so I just wanted to share that story with you because a year to two later and in, in the car rental line that's still sticking with me I was like wow you know you know, sensei, master, whatever. Yeah. Like, I thought that was really good. You know, I, I think that's really profound, too, because, 
I think as I don't know maybe it's the same in other countries but as Americans I'm gonna speak for us Americans because I am one but I think we're so um, into the big glamorous mm -hmm. um, home runs you know and um, the overnight successes is there really such thing as an overnight success because here's the truth is every time you see an overnight success what we don't see is the mundane tasks that they had to go through and yeah. grind out every single day to get where they are I think a lot of times um, all of the like big um, overnight success stories which you know it's probably not how it really went down but it's so glamorized to where um, let's just take for network marketing for example we just released the cold market prospecting and we've had messages undercover recruiter. yeah undercover recruiter and we did a whole training on it and we had people say hey I've gotten a few numbers and no one has joined I'm and not, I'm like, not I haven't uh, made yeah. a million dollars yet yeah it's <laughs> like well yeah you know the skill you have to master it and keep going through and and um, persevering through it you know what I mean just because mm -hmm. you got a training doesn't mean you're gonna turn around and suddenly money's gonna fall from the sky but how many times do we think that's gonna happen how many times are we just looking for the next secret and if that secret suddenly doesn't unlock the door right away we're on to the next thing whereas in reality it's it's taking a skill and it's refining it and it's working on it for a longer period of time and I think just the lack of focus is really getting people jaded because it's like well I was told if I you know and I maybe sometimes even trainers will say well I'm gonna get you six figures in two months you know mm -hmm. and it's like that that you know just setting the bar so high instead of like having those goals that you meet incrementally you know and it's like the base hits I remember when we we're on the kickball team for our, like our company convention and we kept telling the team like don't go for the big kick you know just just like make it smaller because like people kept get getting out yeah. you know just get the single and like people were just going for it and every it's time mostly they were the guys out. with the ego they yeah the, the ego thing yeah. they're out but anyway so I just think like, microwave society exactly. yeah exactly microwave yeah. society whereas like in reality success goes to the people that are more slow cooker yeah to master something the 10,000 hours good point Ben that's a oh, great, yeah. there's a, a, a great book on that as well so that's yeah the, um, slight edge no right? no what's that book Ben what's the book uh, you gotta master 10,000 hours I, it's on the tip of my tongue slight edge isn't it no you want to bet yeah okay I'll if bet. I win Ben then um he owes me I don't know. No. <laughs> That's shopping. It's something else. No, it is. Yes. Anyway, it's... moving on. Ben, if you could give us the book. But here's um, a, here's what we're great. here's a tip. I could prove you wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's all good stuff, Michelle. Uh, discipline is the bridge. Outliers. Yeah. See, I won. <laughs> dinner. Kidding. You gotta buy me dinner. Okay. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments, and that bridge must be crossed every day. You know. Um, I, I don't know. I love that quote. I'm a quotes guy. But one of the things that John talks about is just valuing the process. And it says that um, it's going to take a long time, so you might as well enjoy it. And for me, the last two years has really been something that I've intentionally worked on, just just valuing and enjoying the process and taking the time to learn. Because I'm a destination guy. I just want to get there. Like She'll tell you, like when we're going to go somewhere, I don't like to stop. I just want to get there and we I, get, mama hen. I get I get I get I uh, get impatient and um, you know this morning I think this will tie in this morning I was actually praying on something very specific and I considered it a situation and I was just asking for wisdom I was like God would you help me with this situation and immediately he spoke to me he says it's not a situation it's an opportunity for you to love others and to grow and I thought that was such pers like a, a good perspective is because how often when we're trying to be consistent, we're thinking it's an obstacle when we really should be looking at it as an opportunity. Like, what can I learn? How can I grow? But also, how can I love and bless others at the same time? So not every situation may involve like people. Maybe it's something personal. But for me, it was specifically, it involved people and it involved, um, uh, you know, some tough leadership decisions. And so it was just a great like revelation for me. I wrote it down and it's probably going to stick with me forever that anytime I face a situation, I'm really going to have the perspective of no, that's an opportunity for growth and to display love and to, you know, show appreciation. So I thought you guys would get value out of that. And then the last thing that I had written down 
and Michelle can take over is it talks about towards the end of the chapter five is that the law of consistency takes patience and it takes persistence. And I want you to think about this for a minute that it takes both because you could be patiently waiting and not doing what you need to do. And like, you're, I'm just waiting. Well, the success isn't going to show up at your door. So you have to be patient for the, for the, for the, the harvest to come, but you also have to be persistent. But you can't just be persistent because if you're just persistent without patience, you might not have the right frame of mind. You might not be have the right attitude. And so I love that it talked about you have to both be patient and persistent because uh, you know that's that's the law of consistency. You got you got to uh, stick and stay till you get your pay, as one of my buddies like would that. say. So stick and stay, stick till, you and get stay your pay, till you get your, your pay. pay. So anyway, do you have any other other thoughts? Um, no, just just one other thing. Um. I love how at the, towards the end of the chapter he talked about the composer, you know, mm -hmm. and so it just really made me think about when we're writing our book, and maybe this will help you um, because I I know that one of the dreams that a lot of people have is writing a book, and I think everybody should write a book. Because, Comment if you have the dream to write a book. Yeah, I'd love to say 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 I say I'm gonna write a book. I want to see who who's actually. Sorry to cut you off. No, I, I, I love see that. Who, who, who here would uh, be bold enough to put that down? We're not saying it's going to be done by tomorrow, but to say, <laughs> like, I, I always had the dream and desire to write a book. I don't know exactly what it's going to be on, but but before I die, I'm going to leave a legacy yeah. behind. I'm going to write a book. And, you know, the way things are now with self-publishing, it's so accessible for everybody. And um, I think everyone should write a book because it's part of your legacy. If you think about it, whatever you put in writing – um, generations of your family or people are going to have like you, mm -hmm. a part of you. Mm -hmm. And so I just love the fact that everyone has the ability to write a book. So anyway, I don't know if you know this, but our book, Don't Be That Guy in Network Marketing, it was done in one month in the notes section of our iPhone. Mm -hmm. And I just want to share that because not every day did we wake up and say, oh, like, I feel inspired to write today. But we sat down and wrote despite of the feeling. And um, the words came out after, you know, minutes of maybe just jotting things down. And then it's, you know, you get into your flow and then suddenly you're like writing two or three chapters at one time. And um, so I don't know. I just think like, one, I would love for everyone to like put something on their heart down into a book and publish it because it's just so magical but two if that if that is one of your goals let me just say like that you just chip away you know that there's been so many people that we've talked to that said oh like I've been meaning to start or I have one but I'm not finished yet and it's like just to wait for inspiration for anything is a myth mm -hmm. um, because the inspiration comes after taking the action. That's so good. I was enjoying reading some yeah. of these comments. There was one Jess from Be from the yeah. Bronx to Beijing and back. Like, oh, I love that. I got to read that just for Simple. the title. Awesome. J Jess Yolanda, Jessica, your, your yeah. book's going to be amazing. I already know that. It's going to be a bestseller. Oh, Linda already has an idea for a book. Yeah. Let me just give you guys one little yeah. coaching tip on writing a book. Just because you write the book doesn't mean that people come. Oh. Writing a book, if you want it to get out there, it has everything to do with marketing. It could be the oh, best yeah. book on the planet, but if you don't have a marketing strategy, I mean, it ain't, it's yeah. going to be crickets when, when it comes to launch day. And so we've learned a lot in that oh, area. Man. Yesterday we talked about, um, you know, Proverbs talks about that wisdom and understanding <laughs> is better than gold, rubies, and silver. And uh, so again, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. We've learned a lot and we're excited oh to gosh. be able to share that with you. So tomorrow we're going to be talking about the law of environment and uh, growth thrives in conducive surroundings. And so I think growth is thriving in our Facebook group. You know, it's mm -hmm. free. There's, you know, jump in, add some comments, add some, some videos. And um, yeah, we're having I some like fun. I like Shannon's from the sidelines of success. That's good. Is that like sports analogy? Ben's wife wants to write a book. Awesome. awesome. Do it, Lindsay. There we go. <laughs> Love it. Awesome. Ben, I think I think you're going to have uh I see multiple books over you, Ben. Yeah. I'm not seeing other comments. Okay. Well, we uh we had fun today. Hopefully you guys got value out of the law of consistency. We're only one third of the way through the book. So we got 10 more laws to go. 
and yeah. um, it's time to stick it out. Yeah, right? yeah. Dig your feet in. Yeah, if you're yeah. not, if you stick and stay till you get your pay. Stick and stay till you get your pay. And uh, other than that, do you have anything else to add? Nope. All right. You guys have any questions? Any comments? I already have a cover in mind. Look Shannon, at Shannon. Get after go for it, big it. guy. Hey, if anyone, if you want some guidance on where to start, where to go, um, feel free to message us. You know what would be fun to do is if we did a um, just a Q&A call. Like everything that we've learned. we just did like, writing a book. Yeah, we just did a Q&A yeah. call and you guys just hammered questions. Yeah. Oh, about, we have about what so we much wisdom would you guys... that will save you tons of money. <laughs> I don't know about Tons that. Of money. Hey, if we were to do like a Q&A call on writing a book just of what we've learned and what we found helpful, uh, would, you, would that be something that you guys would be interested and in? And how to market it. Yeah. So let's do this. Make sure that you're on our email list because that's the best way to communicate with you guys. So um, make sure you're subscribed because there's some things that we only do for our community. And uh, so go to adamandmichellecarry.com. If somebody could put the link in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. adamandmichellecarry.com. You could subscribe by picking up any of the free gifts. And uh, probably uh, in October, I'll say October would be better. I'll probably say October. We'll uh, we'll make that happen either through a webinar. Probably a webinar would be the, would be the best. And uh, we'll just do Q and A for like an hour and. Hopefully, I'll give you guys some value. Cool. Thank you, Linda. So, thanks for posting awesome. that, Linda. Well, All right. that's fun. Yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And um, other than that... Cheers to your freedom. Go, uh, world changers. Go. People said that they like the world changers. Yeah, better. world changers <laughs> is better than dream chasers because I'm a dream achiever. I'm not a dream chaser. All right, guys. Have a good day.